yeah one more student has, has to be the seventh one so i'll be explaining the seventh one and tenth one So before starting the seventh one, you need to understand the shortest distance. So what happens in the shortest distance is so what happens here is so this is your vertical plane and horizontal plane. So this is your VP vertical plane. and this is your hp horizontal plane and whatever this line this line we call it as xy line this is an infinite line and we restrict to one xy starting point and ending point so for this point for this uh, planes we add one more plane called profile plane in order to see the side view for seeing the side view we will add the uh, profile plane it is called as auxiliary vertical plane or profile plane anything we can call so in the problem they in the problem they have told that shortest distance where is the meeting point so this is the point where the vertical plane horizontal plane and profile plane meets this is the point from this point if i draw a shortest distance if i draw a shortest distance there i have of 70 mm there i have a point called q double dash example there is a 70 mm then that is uh, q double dash side view and this distance you have to calculate you have to calculate what is this distance and from this point it is somewhere here it is somewhere here this point is somewhere here and you know this distance you know this distance and whatever may be this distance you have to calculate this distance same this distance is reflected here and here you will be getting the point q dash and if you project this is the height you have to calculate this distance so this distance comes as 49.5 something it will be coming and this and this will be same because we are assuming that whenever it is equidistant in the problem they say that uh, a term called equidistance whenever it is equidistance the distance are same the h value and d value both are same and based on this one you have to generate the Uh, based on this one you have to draw the three views front view top view and side view okay so how you draw is same you have to use this one and here so first draw the x y line draw the x y line y will be here draw the x y line then draw the x1 y1 line x1 y1 line and this is the intersection point of uh, vertical plane horizontal plane and auxiliary vertical plane all the three planes are Touching from this point, and from this point, you have to draw the shortest distance. You have to draw the shortest distance. It means that when we join two points directly, it is the shortest distance. And here we can see one more term called equidistance. It is equidistance from the principal planes. From the HP VP, it is equidistance. So whenever it is equal distance, so equidistance it will become a square. And whenever it is the shortest distance, this angle will become as forty five degrees. So if you see any square, you draw diagonal for square, it will become forty five degrees. So that's the reason they gave the seventy mm. For this seventy mm, I need to take forty five degrees because it is equidistance based on this condition. If you see the term equidistance, then you have to take forty five degrees. If you are not seeing equidistance, then uh, as per the they will give the uh, angle. Suppose it is thirty, sixty, seventy, anything angle they will give. If they mention equidistance and shortest distance, then this is the intersection point o from the intersection point o you have to keep a protracted and measure 45 degree uh, 45 degrees angle line and draw a line 70 mm and mark the point as p double dash and measure this distance whatever may be this distance this distance gives the same distance to this side both this distance and this distance are equal distance okay because whatever may be this distance this is also the same distance okay and this is a equidistant problem we consider that all are equidistant so what are this distance this is the same distance so i draw a line here i'll mark the point as p double dash i'll draw this horizontal line i'll measure this distance what are this distance i'll transfer the same distance here and i'll mark this point as 
P dash. This is my friend to you. P dash. I'll measure this distance. It comes as forty nine point five as per the textbook. It comes as forty nine point five. And same forty nine point five. You have to increase. You have to take the same equidistance because it is equidistance problem. The distance are same. And mark this point as P. And suppose if anyone has doubt why this is forty nine point five, then there is another method. This method, what you have to do is you have to extend this line. You have to draw this exactly vertical line, and this horizontal line you have to draw. And you have to keep a compass, measure the radius, keep a compass pointer here and pencil here, and draw the arc. It arc touches this point exactly. Or else, there is one more method. Whenever the your compass is very small and your compass can't take more the radius, then what we do is we draw a forty-five degrees line. We draw a forty-five degrees line and I extend this line till here and till here. Then it is exactly meet at this point. Okay. Yeah. So you have to write this as keep the arrowheads for this one. That it is seventy. In the problem, there is there are no arrowheads, but you have to mention the arrowheads for the seventy. Okay. And then you have to solve. And this is what your seniors have drawn. They will give uh, arrowheads for five degrees. M P double dash N Y X Y dash Q. Uh, so you you will be writing M N. You will be writing. Okay. And uh, this intersection point is uh, empty, so you can write the letter Q. So this is my top view, P. This is my front view, P dash. This is my side view, P double dash. so this is about the seventh problem so i'm going for the tenth problem i hope you understood this problem if any doubts you can unmute and you can ask i will share this video today uh, this is a video watch this video once again so that you will be understanding so i'm directly explaining tenth problem tenth problem also similar but it is not a equidistance you get nothing but h is not equal to d okay In the previous problem, what we have found, h is equal to d, so that we got forty nine point five mm. But here we have h value different and d value different, so thirty mm in front of bp. So d value equal to thirty, positive thirty, and fifty mm above hp. So the h value equal to five zero, positive five zero, and hd. Hd is nothing but the in front of profile plane. In in front of profile plane, it is around. Uh, Um, 20 mm. Okay, so if you see the 3D, but you shouldn't be drawing any 3D. 3D is only for your rough work. In order to understand, you have to you can draw the 3D. Finally, we want only 2D. So this object is somewhere here. The letter P, capital letter P, is somewhere here. And this distance, HD distance, is 20. And this D distance. This d distance equal to thirty, and this h distance, this h distance is around fifty five zero. Okay, then this point will become as p double dash. This point will become as p dash because it is a front view, and this will become small letter p in the top view. Okay, then I need to rotate this one at the back side, and I need to rotate this one at the down because observer will will see from here. observer will be seeing from here so in order to see this point you have to rotate and observer can't see this plane in order to see this plane you have to rotate so what happens is this is my xy line and this is my x1 y1 line so first i have to draw my x1 first step for all the projection of points lines anything first step you have to draw the xy line then if if it is a side view then you have to draw compulsory x1 y1 line whenever there is a side view you have to draw the x and y one line okay and you know this distance whatever may be this distance whatever may be this 30 it is also the same 30 and whatever this 20 this is the distance 20 okay and whatever this vertical letter vertical height 50 same 50 will be here and whatever this 50 same 50 will be here and this distance is 20 because So this is the same distance come here and this distance is 30 okay so you know that first you have to take from the x1 y1 line this is my x1 y1 line from the x1 y1 line i have to take 20 mm this side okay 
have to take 20 mm this side <coughs> right side and left side are 20 mm okay yeah so this distance is 20 this distance is 20 and this distance will be here this distance is 30 and this vertical distance is 50 so i have to draw is from x1 y1 line i have to take a height of 50 i have to take a height of 50 and this distance is 20 that point i need to mark my point as p dash because this is my front view above x1 x1 x x y line i'll get p dash then i know this distance from the x1 y1 line the distance is 30 because the same 30 distance is transferred here so take a distance of 30 okay i know this vertical line 50 and this distance water maybe this distance is the d distance d distance is same this d distance will be projected here so this is my h distance equal to 50 and next my i need to give my d distance d is positive therefore it comes as less uh, below x y line then i have to mark my point as p because in the top you will represent as small letters so this is completed if you want to know this relation how to draw this one then same procedure you can extend this line you can extend this line and you can draw the arc this is the radius your uh, compass pointer will be placed here pencil will be placed here and you have to draw the arc or else if you if your compass is not working properly or any error is there in the compass then you can draw a 45 degrees line and you can extend this line till here and this line here it will join exactly okay so like this you have to draw mark this as p double dash which is the side view you have to mark the p dash which is the front view you have to mark the p which is the top view and you have to give the distance which is 30 50 30 20 then it will be completed okay. yeah so 30 is the d distance 50 is the h distance and 20 is the hd distance same thing so this will be 50 this will be 30 this will be 20 so same 20 will be reflected here and this is the 30 okay so like this you have to make the you have to draw the x x x y line and you have to draw the x and y one line then you can make it so same thing you have to give the p double dash p dash p you have to draw the x y line you have to draw the x and y one line you have to draw the x and y one line then it is completed yeah any doubts you can unmute and you can ask sheet for you have any doubts you can admit and you can ask or else type in the chat okay yeah still any doubts you can admit and you can ask okay so i hope no doubts so i am starting the projection of lines so now we are talking only about a point the point can be any letter a letter b letter c it is a zero dimensional it has only one if you take a line you have two points for a line suppose ab is a line or pq is a line so for this line you are making orientation so this is your this is your vertical or horizontal plane so whenever i say a uh, line is parallel to hp there are two cases this is a line parallel to hp and this is a line parallel to hp and this is a line parallel to hp wherever you are seeing the two shape that is the line parallel to hp okay whenever i say a uh, line parallel to vp this is my vp plane so this is a possible case where line is parallel to vp this is a case where line is parallel to vp and this is a case where line is parallel to vp okay so these are the thing you need to understand and one more case is perpendicular and uh, whenever a line is perpendicular to hp so this is my line which is perpendicular to hp and it is parallel to vp so there are few cases and whenever a line parallel to v hp so this is a line parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp so those are the things you need to know before starting the projection of lines there are two cases in your syllabus one is line inclined to one plane 
line is inclined to hp vp or profile plane line is inclined to both the planes line is inclined to both hp and vp okay this are the thing you have to learn and understand one thing that whenever a line is inclined to hp whenever a line is inclined to hp we give the angle as theta we assume the angle as theta and whenever a line is inclined to vp so so we assume the angle as uh, beta i think okay so we will be discussing this thing when are the angle is inclination we will be taking few of the angles here so already explained the same thing in the last class terms used so true length so true length is nothing but whenever i see the actual size suppose my line is of 50 mm example my line is of 50 mm 50 mm is a true length so you have to represent pl pl equal to 50 every time you have to write for the uh, for the line ab example line ab pq rs anything labeling can be given for a line so this is my true length and whenever i incline true length is 50 and whenever i incline my line to 30 degrees whenever i incline my line to 30 degrees what happens is so this is my true length i need to rotate so this is 50 this is my true length 50 and i take an angle of 30 degrees with the protractor i will extend this line and i will join this one whenever i rotate this one this point suppose this point is ab when i rotate this one this one i will give as b dash because i need i i shouldn't be giving the same labeling for all these things okay so it will be somewhere here it will be somewhere here it will be cut but if i see from the top view if i see from the top view i see only this is the projection i can see so this is my top view length top view length and if i want to give the shortcut for top view length i shouldn't be writing tl because tl is nothing but the true length so there is another name for top view which is called as plan length plan is nothing but the top view and the elevation length is nothing but the front view front view length is nothing but the elevation length and the plan uh, and the top view length is nothing but the plan length so you have to understand these things so whenever a line is inclined even you see from the top view this is a reduction so here uh, this plan length is less than the true length this plan length is less than the true length and this is my true length because i take in the same radius and i draw an arc so this will be my true length okay so here plan length is the true length so similarly suppose if my uh, this is my case this is my line 50 mm this 50 mm i am rotating like this i have rotated to i have taken 45 degrees example i have taken 45 degrees and i projected this one and similarly if i project to the front view if i project to the front view this is my elevation length i call it as el my elevation length which is less than the true length i will get my elevation length as less than the true length this complete is true length i'll get the elevation length less than true length so i will show you the video you will be understanding okay so whenever i see the plan length plan length is also called as top view length in the problem they say that find el and pl they'll say the term find el and pl so pl is nothing but the top view length and el is nothing but the elevation length you have to understand okay el is nothing but the elevation length elevation length or front view length is nothing but the uh, elevation length or front view length both are equal because in top view length i can't write it as tl that the reason tl is true length so i to give another name so top view is an, represented as plan length and front view is represented uh, represented as elevation length okay and you have to understand that whenever a line is parallel to hp uh, play, uh, plan length equal to true length whenever a line is inclined to hp plan length is less than true length therefore i can say that plan length is less than or equal to true length and whenever for the elevation length whenever line is parallel to vp then elevation length equal to true length 
whenever a line is inclined to vp then elevation length is less than true length therefore elevation length can be equal to true length or less than true length elevation length and plan length cannot be greater than true length because my actual uh, actual length is 50 mm it can't be increased suppose i take a pen my pen is 50 mm is the mag is the true length i can't increase more than 50 for my pen or any chalk i am using so either it can be less than true length or equal to true length it cannot be greater than true length these things you have to understand and this also we discussed in the last class so side view length we called as S svl so whenever a line is parallel to profile plane then svl equal to true length whenever a line is inclined to profile plane svl is less than true length therefore i can say that svl is less than or equal to true length okay and inclination with the hp okay so everyone look at my video i am stopping the share everyone look at my video so this is my so this is my this is my book if possible you also catch a book in your hand so this is your horizontal plane so this is your horizontal plane and this is your front to, uh, this is horizontal plane and vertical plane and suppose i am placing my pen at the origin i am placing my pen at the origin which is h equal to 0 and d equal to 0 this is my h value my vertical distance is the h value i am making 0 and my in front of distance my in front of distance is the d value which i am making it as 0 so whenever i am placing my pen at the origin okay, on the x y line then h equal to 0 and d equal to 0 both h equal to 0 and d equal to 0 now what i am doing is whenever my h equal to 0 so in order to see the observer i have to rotate in this ground uh, downwards i need to rotate okay so this is my case where h equal to 0 and d equal to 0 yeah. so this is my case where h equal to 0 d equal to 0 now i need to make my hp so this is my hp my hp this one this hp is parallel to this hp and this is also parallel case now if i want to make inclination if i want to make inclination then i have to rotate this into clockwise direction okay then i have to rotate into perpendicular then it will become as 90 degrees so this is the parallel now i am giving inclination 10 20 30 40 60 90 90 when i give 90 it will become as a dot on the hp similarly this is my uh, parallel to hp then what i have to do i have to rotate 90 degrees 10 20 30 40 50 60 90 if i rotate 90 then only it will be perpendicular so now i am not giving exactly 90 degrees if i give 90 it will become a point you can just see as a point this pen you can see as a point in the front view so what uh, what i will do is i'll give a small inclination of 30 degrees i'll give the small inclination of 30 degrees then what happens is you if you see the shadow the shadow will be lesser than the actual true length okay the shadow will be lesser than the actual true length so i will share once i will explain once again so listen carefully everyone listen carefully so this is my horizontal plane and this is my vertical plane so whenever my line is parallel i can draw this line this line is parallel and now i am giving inclination so this is my true length this is my true length for this true length example 50 mm is my true length now what i am doing is i am giving inclination now now i am giving an inclination of 30 degrees i am giving inclination to hp whenever this is the inclination this value i will give as theta inclination with hp equal to theta and what what i have to do is i have to draw a compass i have to extend the compass and i need to point this point this point is called locus this point is called locus and i need to extend this i need to extend this one when i'm seeing the top i need to extend this one then this is the reduction so actual length is the true length then it is red, reduced small nothing okay so if you see the same thing if you see this one this is my line horizontal line this is my true length actually then what i have, what i have done is i have given some h distance 
h distance then this is my line then for this line what i have done is i have in, uh, lifted the line from my horizontal plane i have lifted my line from horizontal plane about theta equal to 30 example i have lifted my horizontal plane when theta equal to 30 then i will be increasing it whenever i draw the inclination then if i project this one this is my reduced length okay so everyone once watch this video so you will be understanding so i will explain once again so this is my pq line pq line is of true length this is my pq line which is of true length and here what happens is now i am given inclination this theta i gave i gave this inclination theta because of this inclination what happens is i need to rotate this one i'll draw a extension line i'll draw this 30 degrees line with my protractor and i use a compass this is my radius suppose the true length is 50 mm 50 mm is the radius and then i have to draw the arc okay and this arc meets somewhere here and if i project this arc same to the down my pq is the true length if you see the pq line is the q length and this one i'll mark as q1 this q1 is my lesser distance this is called plan length because this is my top view this is my top view plan length is less than true length here this plan length is less than true length here in this case okay and if you see the front view so front view this is my pq this is my pq so in the pq will be uh, will become as p dash and q dash because front view i have to give the dashes so p dash q dash will become even if i rotate in the front view the the radius is same so here what happens is elevation length equal to true length here what happens is elevation length equal to true length but here plan length is less than true length plan length will be less than true length so once watch the video you will be understanding so how i have to draw is draw the xy line draw the xy line and draw the pq line so suppose this h distance is around 10 mm and the d distance is 50 mm example i am saying h is h value equal to cos to 10 d value equal to cos to 50 then this is my true length so this is my true length so it will project as p dash q dash in the in the front view and it will project t and q in the top view then what happens is i am rotating this one i have taken an angle of 30 degrees i have extended this line and then i take a compass my pointer compass pointer is here and my uh, pencil is here then i am drawing a arc and wherever this arc touches then i have to project here i am marking this as q1 so q1 will projected in the front view as q1 dash and q1 will projected as in the top view it will project as small letter q1 okay so here what you have to write is plan length is less than true length and here you have to write that elevation length equal to true length elevation is nothing but the front view front view equal to true length and plan length is less than true length you have to write okay so i hope everyone understand watch this video once line inclined to one plane and parallel to the other the inclination of a line to a plane is the angle which the line makes with its projection on that plane line pq1 is inclined at an angle theta to the hp and is parallel to the vp the inclination is shown by the angle theta which pq1 makes with its own projection on the hp that is the top view pq1 the projections may be drawn by first assuming the line to be parallel to both the hp and the vp its front view p dash q dash and the top view pq will both be parallel to xy and equal to the true length when the line is turned about the end p to the position pq1 so that it makes the angle theta with the hp while remaining parallel to the vp in the front view the point q dash will move along an arc drawn with p dash as center and p dash q dash as the radius to a point q dash 1 so that p dash q dash 
one makes an angle theta with x y. In the top view, q will move towards p along p q to a point q one on the projector through q dash one. p dash q dash one and p q one are the front view and the top view respectively of the line p q one. Okay. So, any doubts? So, I'll share this video once again. And anyone who is having any but uh, CD, when they borrow the textbook, they give the CD. In that CD, you can see the module 23. Line inclined to one plane and parallel to other, you can see. Okay. And, uh, okay. So, that is the inclination concept. So, whenever I make a line inclined, so, inclined in the view, in uh, when I give the inclination theta, which is above x line, then it will become a uh, bit uh, plan length is less than true length. Plan length is less than true length. Whenever I give the inclination theta, plan length is less than true length. And whenever I give the inclination, which is phi, whenever I give the inclination, which is phi, then elevation length is less than true length. Okay, so these things you have to understand. So this is a concept. Uh, this is the inclination with HP. So there is another concept. I am giving inclination to VP. So if you see that this is a, my my VP. So for that VP, this is my RS line. So this is my RS line, which is true length. RS line, which is true length. Then for this RS, RS line, I give a distance, D distance. I give a D distance. Then this is my RS line. This is my RS line. What happens for the RS line is I gave an inclination of phi. When a, this phi inclination is less than x uh, below x y line, whenever I give the inclination theta, which is inclination with HP, then it is above x y line. This is for the first quadrant. For the first quadrant, whenever I give the inclination theta, which is above x y line, and if I give the angle phi, which is less than uh, below x y line. So here I gave the inclination. So what I have to do is, so this is my RS line, then I have to draw the arc. Draw the arc, this is my angle phi. Okay, so this is my angle phi. So this is my inclination with respect to VP. Okay, so I'll also show a video of uh, inclination with respect to VP. Watch it once again. Okay. So VP is the inclination that which makes with respect to the vertical plane. Okay, so this is my vertical plane. So for this vertical plane, this is my horizontal line. This line is parallel to each other, parallel to vertical plane. Now what I do is I move my, uh, give the angle, the angle is suppose 45 degrees. Okay. So this angle is called phi. So whenever I give inclination with VP, it is called phi. And whenever I give inclination with respect to HP, this is called theta. Whenever I give inclination with respect to HP, it is called theta. Whenever I give inclination with respect to VP, it is called phi. You have to remember these things. Okay. And whenever I am projecting like this, so what happens here is, so see here, this is my XY line. Now I am giving a projection here in phi. I am giving my phi and this is my horizontal line. For this horizontal line, I am drawing an inclination like this. If I project this one, it will be same. Initially, it will be same. And because of this reduction in the length, this uh, elevation length is less than true length. This elevation length is less than true length. Okay. So watch this video once. So this is my actual line RS. Capital R, capital S. So this is same RS. This is at a distance of D distance. And this RS is at a height of H, H distance. Then this R is projected in the front view as small letter R dash. This capital letter S is projected in the front view as S dash. Okay. And this capital letter S is projected in the top view as small letter S. This capital letter R is projected in the, in the top view as small letter R. So you know these things. Now what happens is here I gave the angle phi. So I gave the angle phi such as example 45 degrees I gave the angle phi. Then this is the same radius I have to rotate. I have to rotate so it will meet at this point. From this point, this point I'll mark it as capital letter S1. So this S1 projected in the front view as S1 dash. 
I will project this one in the front view. It will project it as S1 dash. If I project in the top view, it will become as S1. It will become as S1. Okay. So this is the thing you have to understand. Okay. So whenever I make the projection, this is my true length. So this is my true length. True length. This true length, I made a radius. I made a radius. So it will be this uh, plan length. Plan length is nothing but the top view length. Plan length is equal to true length here. And this is my elevation length, final, uh, final front view length. My elevation length is less than true length here because this is my R dash and S dash line. R dash S, S dash line is the true length, but R dash and S1 dash is the elevation length, which is less than the true length. Okay. Yeah, watch this video once so that you will be understanding. Watch this video carefully. No, okay, wait. I will be again playing the video. I think, yeah, wait. I will be playing the video. Yeah. Line RS1 is inclined at an angle 5 to the VP and is parallel to the HP. The inclination is shown by the angle 5 which RS1 makes with its projection on the VP. That is the front view R dash H dash 1. Assuming the line to be parallel to both the HP and the VP, its projections R dash, H dash and RS are drawn parallel to XY and equal to its true length. When the line is turned about its end R to the position RS1 so that it makes the angle phi with the VP while remaining parallel to the HP, in the top view, the point S will move along an R drawn with R as center and RS as radius to a point S1 so that RS1 makes the angle phi with XY. In the front view, the point S dash will move towards R dash along the line R dash S dash to a point S dash 1 on the projector through S1. RS1 and R dash S dash 1 are the projections of the line RS1. Therefore, when the line is inclined to the HP and parallel to the VP, its top view is shorter than its true length, but parallel to XY. Its front view is equal to the true length and is inclined to XY at its true inclination with the HP. And when the line is inclined to the VP and parallel to the HP, its front view is shorter than its true length, but parallel to XY. Its top view is equal to its true length and is inclined to XY at its true inclination with the VP. Hence, when a line is inclined to one plane, and parallel to the other, its projection on the plane to which it is inclined is a line shorter than its true length, but parallel to the reference line. Its projection on the plane to which it is parallel is a line equal to its true length and inclined to the reference line at its true inclination. In other words, the inclination of a line with the HP is seen in the front view and that with the VP is seen in the top view. So here it is saying that, yeah. So whenever a line is inclined with respect to HP, so whenever a line is inclined to HP, so whenever a line is inclined to HP, then true length is seen on the front view and top view will be reduced, little bit reduced. And whenever Inclination of line with VP. Whenever there is an inclination on VP, then top view is a true length and front view is a lesser length compared to true length. Okay. Yeah, any doubts you can unmute and you can ask. This is an important topic. If you don't understand this topic, you don't understand the other topics of Indian drawing. Okay. Yeah. So next one.
Yeah. So this is my profile plane. So any inclination with the profile plane. So any inclination with respect to the profile plane, this angle is called omega. Okay. So there is an inclination with the phi. Then this angle you are you will be considering this one. Okay. And it will be whenever this is this one, then uh, the angle projected will be less than the here. It will be less than the on the side view length. It will be less than the true length. Okay. Yeah. So next is the apparent angle. So if you see that this is my x y line. This is my x y line. So whenever I give an inclination above x y line, it is called theta. And whenever I give my inclination below x y line, it is called phi. Okay. Then, because of this inclination, if there is an any effect, yeah. And this is my inclination theta. Uh, theta is inclined with respect to h p, and phi is inclined with respect to v p. And theta will be above x y line in the first quadrant, and phi will be above x y line in the first quadrant. And next is nothing but the apparent angle. Next is nothing but the apparent angle. This is also important. So whenever already I have uh, theta, I already I gave the angle theta here for this locus. So this is called locus. So for this locus, already I gave the angle theta. And because of giving the angle phi, because of giving angle phi to the vertical plane, what happens is this will again project here. This will again project till here. And this angle i need to draw one more angle this angle is called alpha so this alpha is also above x y line so once again i'll explain so listen carefully already this is my x y line for this x y line already i gave my angle theta angle theta and this line will become as the locus this line will become as the locus and already a line is straight again i am giving the angle phi Again, I'm giving the angle phi, which is nothing but inclination to VP. Because of this inclination, again the line will lesser. It will project as lesser. And this is my projection in the front view. So again, if I join this to the starting point A dash, then this angle is nothing but the alpha. This is called apparent angle. It is the angle between the front view. Already, I have this front view. Front view. This is my final front view. Front view is nothing but the elevation length. Front view or elevation length. This elevation length with respect to x y line, that is called my uh, apparent angle. Okay. So whenever you see, you see here, alpha is always greater than theta. You see that alpha is always greater than theta. It is an angle which an ob oblique line, oblique line. Seems to be making HP with HP in front view. So with respect to front view, whatever the angle it is taking with respect to the front view, it is called that one. Okay. Yeah. So this is called apparent angle alpha. Okay. So already whatever I'm, I have said, same thing. So already I have my line AB. Already I have like I have my line AB. So for this AB line, I gave my inclination theta. Already I gave my inclination theta, and for this theta again, I am making one more inclination, one more inclination at the front. This inclination again, I am making one more inclination at the front, and what again this inclination? If I am projecting here, then this will become as B dash because I am making one more inclination here. This inclination will project here, and if I project this inclination here, it will become. This is called alpha. Okay, so always alpha is greater than theta. Alpha is greater than theta because I gave one more inclination. That's the reason I need to project this line to locus of PQ. Okay. okay. And there is one more angle called beta. So when the beta comes here is so look here. So whenever I draw my x y line, so here I have drawn my x y line. So here I gave my angle uh, theta. Here I gave my uh, alpha. Here I gave my alpha. So what happens here is 
theta and alpha are given then because of yeah because of this alpha what i do is uh, there is one more projection i i have rotated alpha again i have given uh, uh, this is my phi and already because of this phi i i got my this is my locus example because of this phi i got my alpha okay then because of this uh, one more uh, angle because of this one because of this theta this is my locus so it will project again and i need to draw my one more angle which is called as the beta okay so if you see this one already i have my line ab i have my line ab and i gave the inclination alpha i gave the inclination alpha because of this alpha what happens is alpha and phi already i gave my inclination phi because of this alpha again i will generate one more inclination called beta if i project this one point here then i get one more final point called beta okay that is called apparent angle with vp which is nothing but the beta so already i gave my alpha with respect to alpha i get my projection beta okay so let's learn one second listen so this is my xy line this is my xy line what i done is i gave my phi this is my actual line then i rotated this one i made i made this uh, phi inclination phi and already i gave my inclination alpha i gave my inclination alpha this is projected above and for this line i made an inclination alpha i made an inclination alpha and wherever it is cutting the locus from that locus again i am drawing downwards and wherever it is cutting this locus that point is called as the final uh, plan length this is called my plan length and this is my final elevation length elevation is nothing but the top view length uh, front view length plan length is nothing but the top view length okay so everyone raise your hands i'll be taking the attendance i'll give 30 seconds to raise your hands everyone raise your hands i'll be taking the attendance one second i'll take at the end of the class also anyone who is not raising now need to raise the hands at that time yeah. yeah roll number 8 9 19 26 29 36 51 roll number 3 need to raise their hands once again i am repeating roll number 8 roll number 9 19 29 51 3 need to raise their hands yeah i am lowering all the hands <coughs> next is nothing but the traces this is out of syllabus no need for you for the traces but i will explain the basic concept of traces this is out of syllabus for you no need of learning the traces in your syllabus so what happens is this is my xy line this is my h distance and this is my d distance d distance and this is my horizontal line suppose a dash and b2 dash example a dash and b2 dash and the same line will be projected here as in the top view to project as small letter a and small letter b2 because in the top view we'll write as a small letters for capital letter b2 we'll write as small letter b2 in the top view in the front view we'll write b2 dash small letter b2 dash we'll write so what happens here is i gave an angle theta i gave an angle theta and if i project this one this is called my traces of line this is called my trace of line suppose if i give an angle phi here if i project this one this is called my traces of uh, traces of vertical plane traces of horizontal plane there are two types of traces this is no need for you this is out of syllabus one is horizontal trace and another is vertical trace so this is no need so whenever there is a horizontal trace we will give by capital letter h and whenever there is a vertical trace we give by small letter uh, capital letter v okay so this is also no need for you this is out of syllabus okay 
node of learning this slide this slide is discussed only for the civil and mechanical students not for the other branch students so no need of this slide traces of the lines no need for you okay okay so i'll explain the concept once again so listen here watch my video so look here everyone so this is my so this is my horizontal plane this is my vertical plane now i kept my uh, i ha i have kept my line ab on the zero now i am giving my h distance now i am giving my d distance so it will be somewhere here so whenever i am projecting so this is my line whenever i am giving the inclination for this line whenever i am giving this inclination for this line whenever i am lifting what happens is if i make sure the projection stop it will reduce this is my top view if i lift this one then what happens from this point it has to come down then it is this reduced length okay. so see here suppose this is my line suppose this is my line suppose this is my line top view line it is coming like this so this is my top view line coming like this then what happens here is this is my top view line whenever i lift then what happens is this is a reduced length it will project somewhere here it will reduce the length okay and there are two length i have told one is theta one is uh, uh, phi so this is your book example so whenever i give theta it will be theta will be lifted like this whenever i give the angle theta it will be lifted like this and whenever i give the angle phi it will lifted like this it will be coming you have to give the angle like this okay and because of this angle so initially my my uh, my line is like this now i'm giving the, for this for this point only if I, i'm giving two angles one is theta next is alpha so it will be lifted like this one one inclination and two inclination i'm giving two inclination so this is my first inclination and this is my another inclination similarly this is my vp this is my vp line i'm giving one inclination and i'm giving another inclination okay so for this horizontal plane only i'm giving theta here i'm giving phi here phi is nothing but this angle see this is the angle of phi so this is my theta and this is my phi so the my line is like this and for this line i have to make the projection and similarly this is my phi angle and for this phi angle again i'm giving my theta theta is nothing but i'm lifting above again this is my phi angle and again i'm lifting above so there is an inclination so there are total four angles so here you will get one angle second angle and for here you will get one angle and you will get one angle and another angle total four angles you will be getting in the projection of the plane projection of the lines okay yeah so straight lines so straight lines this is the topics what we will be learning a line containing both one plane or both the planes so whenever a line is containing the both the planes it should be on the xy line the line should be on xy line in order to be contained on both the planes okay and whenever line is hp so the whenever the line is hp so it is at a certain distance and it is placed on the hp and whenever line is on vp it is on this one and whenever line is both on hp and vp it is at the xy line okay so if you see this one so whenever a line is in hp the line is like this or like this the line is seen completely in the hp and whenever a line is on vp the line can be like this or like this line is on vp and whenever they say that line is on both the planes it means that h equal to 0 and d equal to 0 it means that h equal to 0 d equal to 0 and if you see here whenever a line is in hp then top you true length equal to a uh, uh, plan length and whenever there is a and whenever there is a um, it is it is in hp then it is a reduced length this is my actual length true length i rotate it like this this is my reduced length elevation length is less than true length okay and this is my actual rotation true length then it is reduced length 
So here my elevation length equal to two length. Whenever it is parallel to VP, whenever the line is in VP, my elevation length equal to two length, and my plan length is less than two length. And whenever EF is lying on both the planes, elevation length equal to true length equal to plan length. Okay. Yeah. And second classification is that uh, line is parallel to both the planes. So whenever a line should be parallel to both the planes, so this is completely parallel to this one. So completely parallel to HP. The line is completely parallel to HP. The line is completely parallel to VP, and the line is parallel to HP and VP. It is, but it has certain H distance. It has certain D distance. So whatever may be the inclination, we assume that there are some H distance. There is some D distance, and for that one we draw the line. Suppose this line is A dash and B dash. If you project it as Small letter A and small letter B will project. And next, next is line is perpendicular to HP and uh, CD line is perpendicular to BP. So whenever I say perpendicular, so whenever I say the term perpendicular, it is nothing but the pointing towards it. It is nothing but it is pointing towards it. So this is my line AB. Whenever this line is AB perpendicular to HP, and on HP I can see that A comma B is the point, and on this one I can see that B dash and A dash separately. Suppose this line is perpend uh, pa perpendicular to BP, then I can see that C dash comma D dash here, and here it I can see that C and D here. Okay. So again, we'll be discussing in the next class. So once watch this video, so that we'll be closing. Yeah, the video. Yeah. Once watch this video, so that we'll be closing. A straight line AB is perpendicular to HP and parallel to BP, where the point A is H units above HP and point B. Is D units in front of BP. Observe the front view of line AB as line A dash B dash. As you can see from top, point B is visible and it hides point A. So projectors from point B passing through A meets HP at point BA. Which is the top view. So let's see how it will appear on paper. For this, first draw a horizontal reference line x y. Then draw a line a dash b dash above and perpendicular to x y. With end point a dash at the distance of h units from x y. Next, mark a point b a below x y at the distance of d units in line with line a dash b dash. Line a dash b dash and point b a are the projections of the line a. On BP and HP respectively. Okay, so here, so here, if I project this one, I can see only a point. If I project this one, I can see only a point here. Yeah. Once again, everyone raise your hands. I'll be taking the attendance. Everyone raise your hands. I'll be taking the attendance. Yeah, row number 1, 3, 8, 12, 16, 24, 33, 36, 42, 47, 51, 59. If you're not raising, you'll be marked as absent. 1, 3, 8, 12, 24, 36, 42, 47, 51. Yeah. The attendance completed. I'm lowering all the hands. Any doubts you can unmute and you can ask, or else you can leave the meeting. Class has completed. Any doubts you can unmute and you can ask, or else you can leave the meeting. Attendance completed.
सर ट्वेल्व अटेंडेंस ओके ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट टाइम रेज द हैंड विद इन द टाइम सर थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स नेक्स्ट टाइम रेज द हैंड विद इन द टाइम सर फिफ्टी नाइन Fifteen and also okay. Raise your hands. Fifteen and twenty-four. Twenty-four. Next time, raise your hands. Fifteen and twenty-four. Okay. Yeah. Sir, forty-seven present, sir. My network was down actually. Sir, I also claim my attendance, sir. Okay. Sir, roll number three also, sir, present. Roll number three. Next time, raise your hands within the time. Sir, eight also, sir. Yeah, sir, number also. eight. Sir, number eight is six. Okay. Yeah, any doubts? You can admit and you can ask. No doubts? You can leave the meeting. Okay. I hope no doubts. Okay, I'm ending the meeting. Do it, you know.